Good morning and welcome back to Garden Bug Poetry. Today, as promised, I'm going to read a uh, poem, uh, Not a Leaf, Falls Like a Leaf, from So Clearly Beautiful. Let the charging road tar be the whole route, and instead of using the pavement, forcing weight and wheel on each inch of the modern path. Let's tell the children that we are carried by waves we spent years making that the car is lifted towards home or the beach. We'll preach to them to allow the undulations, put both hands outside of the car window and cup them just in case we've chosen the right day in the right season for them to be given one whole hut of nature's allowance. Um, so uh, this week is Earth Day. Uh, in fact, uh, we spent uh, part of the day going down to the creek near our house and picking up trash uh, and talking about nature and being in nature. Um, and this is one of my favorite threads about poetry and art, is finding that connection to our environment, to our world and how we take care of it and what our connection to it is. Um, those are some of my favorite poems, poems by like Wendell Berry uh, and different poets that really find uh, the beauty and the tethers between us and nature. Um, and that, the, that kind of art always has spoken to me uh, and I think is really important, especially now as we're trying to do the things uh, that our world needs uh, to sustain and uh, make it a healthy place to live and to, to give back to planet Earth. and and do, uh, you know, make the changes we need to to keep our planet healthy and thriving as long as possible. Uh, so finding a way to connect your art um, with uh, the place that you live, with uh, the creek near you, with the river near you, with the tree in your yard, things like that, is important. And finding a way to express um, hope and gratitude and things like that are, are classic themes in terms of poetry and art and painting and different things like that. So uh, the writer's prompt for this week is the same for both younger and older kids. Write a poem about where you live in terms of nature. Write a poem about your favorite tree that you've got to swing on or where you like to go play that's out in nature. Maybe uh, you know someone who has a farm out in the woods. Maybe you like to go down to the river and swim in the river or in the pond, places like that. But younger and older kids, write a poem about uh, spending time in nature and what it means to you and how important that connection is because it is a really truly important connection to make between yourself uh, and uh, your environment and your art and all of those things sort of all wrapped in. It's vitally important. It's vitality. Um, okay, so coming up next, uh, Isabel is going to read a uh, poem she wrote when she was uh, little. She was little. Uh, we'll be right back. Thank you. I'm going to read a poem I wrote when I was like four or five. Pick a flower. Pick the place, pick the time, pick the day. I want to pick flowers now! Thank you. Joining us for Garden Bug Poetry. Um, I hope you have fun writing about Earth Day and writing about where you live and the connection to nature and all those things. And if you do write a poem, please send it to us at gardenbugpoetry at gmail.com. I know ever since we've gone from doing this daily to doing it weekly, a little, a few uh, less submissions. Um, but hopefully you're still watching and hopefully you're still enjoying writing poetry. And uh, we're always really happy to read when you send in the poems. So please do gardenbugpoetry at gmail.com and we'll be happy to read them uh, and during our next video. Uh, so I hope uh, wherever you are, it's a beautiful day. I hope you're staying healthy. Uh, I hope you're staying ornery and we will see you again next week for another episode of Garden Bug Poetry. Thank you.